If you have watched this video, then you might have experienced Google Cloud Platform. Hello everyone, I welcome you to a new video. In this video you are going to set up an Ubuntu server without any cost. Then what is AWS? Amazon Web Services is a subsidiary of Amazon providing on-demand cloud computing platforms and APIs to individuals, companies, and governments, on a metered pay-as-you-go basis. Before we go and set up our server, make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet done click the subscribe button now and also press the bell icon to stay updated with my upcoming videos. Before creating a virtual instance, we have to create an account with AWS. Click on Compute Sign Up. From here, click on Create a new AWS account and fill the form in 5 simple and easy steps. To get a free account, you have to add your billing information. If you don't have a Visa debit card, then you can create a new virtual card from online. These are the applications that will help you. Now, confirm your identity with your mobile number. From here choose free support services and complete your sign up. It will take a maximum of 24 hours, so keep warm yourself. Let's sign into our AWS console by clicking here. We are now on the AWS console, and we are ready to install the Ubuntu server on AWS. Let's see how. First of all, you have to click on Launch a Virtual Machine. From here you have to choose an Amazon machine image. If you think all these AMI are free, then you are wrong. If you want to get a free AMI, then you have to check the free tier option from the left side. Now from here select the Ubuntu server from the list below. You can also choose between x86 and ARM processor. From here you have to choose Micro, as this is available for the free tier. Now click Next to configure instance details. If there is any problem with any setting, you can change it from here. The next option is to add storage. From here you can add the storage size up to 30 GB which is free for the free tier. The next option is to add a tag. Now click next to configure the security group. This is an important option that will help you during the connection. From here you have to add an IP address here. You can also choose my IP option. But, I am not going to use it. I am here going choose a custom IP address. Now. The next option is Review. If you have no issue then click on Launch to create a key pair. Now from here choose Create a new key pair. Now give a name of your key pair and click on Download key pair. Now, click on Launch Instance. As you can see the instance was created. Now click on view instance to get the status of your instance. Now we need an SSH client tool to get connected with our instance. We are going to use Buddy. To install this tool visit their official download page. Now from here click on here to download the software. Now, 
Install it. As you can see the installation is completed and you can find it from your application menu. Before we get interacted with the server, we have to convert our PEM file to a PPK file using PuttyGen. Now, click this tool and load the key that you have downloaded from AWS. Now click on Generate a Private Key File. Our key is generated and we are ready to launch the PuTTY application. From here we have inserted our host name. To know your host name, firstly you have to click on the instance and then click on connect to get your instance information. From here click on SSH client and copy the host name. Now paste the host name to PuTTY. Now upload your authentication key by following my instructions. Now, you can save this session for our feature. Now click on Open to get connect with the server. As you can see we have successfully gotten connected with AWS. There is no issue with it. If you want to get the GUI version you can follow my Google Cloud Platform video. If there is an issue with you, you can give me a comment in my comments section. I hope you got an idea of how to set up and configure Ubuntu on AWS.